Hi, everybody. Hey, uh, look, this is a hack for how to get my students collaborating on Google Meet uh, in the little breakout rooms, but Google Meet doesn't have breakout rooms yet. So first of all, full disclaimer, this is probably a terrible idea. So throw it away or just like make it better and tell me how you made it better. But, but the idea is this, um, uh, I'm getting ready for distance learning. Um, I, I used to have kids you know, do workshop model or break out into small groups. and I, I'd walk around the room and check in with groups and I'd always be able to keep my eye on all the groups at the same time. I, I, I want to do that, uh, so I think about SAMR, substitution, augmentation, modification, redefinition. S, S, what is the substitution? How can I substitute what I used to do? I used to walk around the room and see all the kids and jam with them. Well, let's take a look. Uh, I created a little lesson plan just like I used to. Uh, what am I going to do in a whole class? Well, this is my whole class uh, Google Meet nickname. They're all, all 30 of them are going to come to this screen. All 28 of them are going to come to this screen. Then I'm going to send them out to small groups, and I've created nicknames for each small group. And then there's a table down there that I'm going to show to the kids that says what small group each of them are supposed to go to, just like when I was in class. Now, here's how it functions, because there's no breakout rooms in Google Meet. And even in Zoom, you send kids to breakout rooms, you can't see them all the time. It's not really a substitution for what I used to do. So <laughs> this is a horrible hack. I'm sorry it took this long to get to it. Now you're probably going to delete it, but here it comes. Um, I'm sitting in my classroom, and I realize I've got a Chromebook cart with Chromebook still in it. So I open up Chromebook 1, and I log into Mr. Ike Room 1. I turn off the camera. I turn off the microphone. I turn off the volume. And I do it again, and again, and again, and again. And then I say to the students, hey, let's all meet at Mr. Ice's classroom. And then during the lesson, I go, hey, you guys, these are your breakout rooms. And then they all go, okay, we're going to head to our breakout rooms, Mr. Ike. And they go, out to the breakout rooms. Now, I am in my classroom, physically, staring at five Chromebooks, where the kids are all in breakout rooms. I'm logged into those Chromebooks, so I'm actually in the room with them, but my camera's off, my mic is off, and um, they can't see me. Maybe I'm standing right in front of them, maybe I'm not. So they may or may not be on their best behavior because they know I can see them, and if I want to, I can hear them, uh, but now I'm over here in Mr. Ice's classroom alone, so I'll turn that camera off, and I'll do what I do as a teacher. I'll start walking around the room, right? Like this is what I used to do. I walk around the room, use my teacher spider senses, saying, oh, this group over here definitely needs me. I come over there, I turn on the volume, I turn on the mic, I turn on the camera, and I'm jamming with these guys. Now, because I'm a teacher and I have, you know, spidey senses, uh, I can also see what's going on around the room. Because I can see, oh, is that group goofing off? Is that group on point? Like I can see them. I've got their volume turned off because hearing all of them at one time, at full volume would drive me crazy. You might, I don't know, do it differently, but like, okay, I can see them. So if I can see them, then cool. They think I might be standing right in front of them because my camera's off. They don't know where I am. Right now I'm jamming with group one and like maybe we have a little protocol. If you need help, throw up a little help sign and then I see the help sign and I just leave group one and I start rolling over and jam with group two. And so look, this is a horrible hack. It's not a good idea, I'm sure. But the point is, like, maybe because I have the physical assets of these Chromebooks in my classroom, I can open them up, I can log into them, I can push kids to them, and I can walk around the room and meet with small groups of kids and keep school feeling like we're still digging the four C's of collaboration, creativity, communication, and, and uh, critical thinking. So, all right, that's a hack. Make it better. Whoop.